Today we're going to look at UI virtualization and loading items on demand with the RAD Tree View. RAD Tree View is part of Telerik's RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. So the RAD Tree View API supports UI virtualization out of the box. So this processes only information loaded in the viewable area, which reduces the memory footprint of the application and speeds up loading time. The load on demand feature lets the nodes load their child nodes as the user expands the parent by clicking on the expander icon. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and take a look at this. Let's begin today by going File, New, Project, selecting Silverlight, RAD Control Silverlight application, and we'll just give this the name of RAD Tree View. Let's just type Load on Demand TTV for Telerik TV and press OK. We're going to host the application in a new website. We're also going to be using Silverlight version 5. So once we have done that, we can scroll down and we can add a check here in Telerik.Windows.Controls.Navigation, which also adds a check automatically for us on the dependent component called Telerik.Windows.Controls. And then finally, we're going to hit the Finish button. So once our application finishes spinning up, of course, we'll see our Telerik.Windows.Controls in Telerik.Windows.Controls.Navigation inside of our references. And if we double click on our main page, which is already loaded, we can see inside of our user control that the Telerik XML namespace has been added for us automatically. So the first thing that I want to take a look at is load on demand. So the performance of the Telerik RAD Tree View control when operating with a huge amount of items is significantly optimized through the load on demand feature. This mechanism lets the nodes load their child node as the user expands the parent by clicking on the expander icon. So let's take a look here at some sample XAML inside of our grid we're just going to paste in a simple tree view. So we have a tree view here with a margin. We've also given it a name. We've given it a header of sports categories and we've added in three tree view items. So in able to add this functionality we can simply add is load on demand enabled and set that to true. So I'm going to go inside of my first item here and I'm going to type is load on demand enabled and I set that to true. I can also select this and paste it on my other items as well. So if we run the application with uh, without adding anything else we'll see that we have our tree view with sports categories but notice what happens once we click the football icon. You can see this begins to spin because it's trying to load that data on demand. Of course we didn't add uh, any data to this item so nothing is actually going to be loaded here. So we'll go ahead and we'll close that out and we're going to come back here and we're going to add a load on demand event. So this event will be fired as soon as the person tries to expand the tree view item called football. So from here we'll go ahead and we'll resolve this by creating a method. We have our load on demand click event handler that's been added for us. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a rad tree view item. Once that rad tree view item has been defined, I'm going to simply paste in some code here for our rad tree view item load on demand. So this is simply going to get the clicked item and then it's going to run this for loop and it's going to add in 10 new items. It's basically going to have the word soccer and then it's going to append it with a number. So I can click back on my main page.xaml and I see we have the property enabled to true 
and then we have our load on demand event so we can go ahead and we can run the application and see this in action. So this data is going to be loaded as soon as the user clicks on football. So we've clicked on football here and you can see we have our 10 items that's automatically been added for us. Now this is still spinning but there is a property that's called is loading on demand that we can easily set to false once this operation has been completed. So now we should probably come back to our main page.xaml and we should add in a couple more items here. So we're going to try running this with a thousand items. So once we run this with a thousand I can click on my sports categories and I can click on football and we can see 1,000 items was just added to our control. But we're not using uh, virtualization yet. So in order to take a look at UI virtualization, we're going to look at a brand new sample. So I've already loaded the project up and you can see it in here. The first thing you're going to notice is that we have the Telerik XML namespace added to our project. And then we have our view model VM as the name, which maps to our CLR namespace of UI virtualization TTV1. Next up, we set our data context to just the view the main view model that we just defined. Then we have a grid, and inside the grid, we've added a Telerik rad tree view. Now I've just set the margin to five. I've set the item source here to binding items which we'll look at in just a second in the main view model. I've set padding, but I've also added is virtualizing to true. So adding is virtualizing to true is basically the same thing as using the Telerik colon tree view panel dot is virtualizing equals to true. So you can use either or. Down here we'll also see that we have an item template. So we have a Telerik hierarchical data template that's item source is going to be binding to children. I just have a stack panel here simply with an orientation of horizontal and I have a text block that is going to be binding to header. And that's pretty much it. The rest of this is just closing out some of the tags that we had opened. So if I switch back over to my main view model we'll see this class is very simple as well. I have a public class called main view model with a public observable collection of data items which is defined down here at the bottom and it is got a getter and setter added to it. In our constructor I'm simply creating a list of 10,000 items. Now this is also going to have 500 child items. So this will give us a very good sample of what UI virtualization looks like with the rad tree view. And then to finish up, you can just see the data item class has a string called header and it has our children and then the data item is just going to create our children as a new observable collection. So now I'm actually just going to run the application. So I'm going to do debug, start without debugging. This loads an instance of Internet Explorer. And we can see our 10,000 items has just appeared. So if we begin scrolling down through this list, and I'm going to scroll down a little bit faster, you can see we have our 10,000 items. I'm going to scroll back up to the top, and I'm going to expand my first node. And you will see the children we have 500 children. So I'm just scrolling down and you can see my 500 children. This is an example of what this looks like with UI virtualization turned on. I'm going to go ahead and expand another node where you can see how fast this actually generates on the screen. So I hope this helped and please tune in to tv.teleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.teleric.com for the latest news and announcements.